thanks so much for clicking on this video it's me Aaliyah and today I'm just gonna show you all how I'm gonna do my gel X nails y'all I haven't done these in a while so <clears throat> excuse me I don't really know how they're gonna turn out but here I'm gonna go ahead and use this kit I have a Beatles gel polish kit it's, it has the nails tips and the glue set or whatever um yeah so almost everything that I would need is in here um I think it was about $20 on Amazon Prime and then here I have a duck neck um lamp light or whatever and I only use this for when I put my uh, nail tips on so I can cure them real quick before putting them in a full size um in a full size light I mean under the full size lamp and I have my full size lamp over here but I have it set up over there um so it can kind of be out the way since I'm not using that immediately and then I have some um, primer and nail dehydrator um, I have my gel polishes right here and I'm thinking these are all I want to use um, I have my electric e-file my e-file right here and I have some buffing blocks I have some 180 180 grit no 100 100 grit uh, nail files um, I have some dotting tools I have a little brush because I don't know exactly what kind of design I'm gonna try to do y'all I'm not really good at designing I have a nail clip um, nail clipper basically nail tip clipper and I have some little gems and I also have another sanding man right here I'm hoping that this is everything I need because I forgot and actually let me go ahead and just replace this sanding band right now before I even get started and yeah, so I'm going to show you all what come in this box and then I'm going to start doing my nails. So this kind of takes, it's probably going to take me a little while, but it shouldn't take me too much long, too long. Because since I have this right here to make it a lot easier and then I have my actual lamp over there. Um, this comes with some nail tips. These are supposed to be jelly tips. These are coffin shaped um, tips. The kit also comes with a lamp. Y'all, I have a lot of these because I ordered a few sets, but it comes with a little lamp. Hey, that's a different lamp than the last one. But yeah, it comes with a lamp and it comes with a little plug. You plug it in and I think it have like a 60 second timer. And this is for you to mainly to do like your individual nails. You can do one nail at a time. You just sit on here and then you just hold the tip like that and you know, do that. But it's a lot easier if you have this and you have a full size one or if you have this and a full size one or whatever. And then it also comes with the little nail glue stuff right here. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put the lamp away and I'm gonna use the tip. So I have a lot of tips, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these used. And I'm just gonna go ahead and um, kind of measure my nails with the tips and things like that and pull out the ones that I need. Like I said, I'm trying to prepare so that things can go a little faster. And you just pretty much go through and find what nail, you know, size your nails and stuff like that and um yeah go from there the nail tips are let me see Dang. the nail tips whoop, they're pretty sturdy it seems like and this is going to go on my middle finger you want it to fit like sidewall to sidewall uh you don't want to have too much space and stuff and actually this one i don't know it can possibly fit i'm gonna try a different size but yeah, you don't want, you want to fit sidewalk, sidewalk to sidewall, and you know, this part is going to be filled up with the gel in the middle. I did bite my nails all the way down, y'all. Normally, you know, I don't know. I bit my nails all the way down. And you just pretty much uh, go until you find the size that you need. And if you end up having, having it where it don't fit your nails at all, yes, I think this one fits so much better. There we go. So if you, I'm oh, sorry, y'all. If you have it to where it don't fit your nails right, at all like any of them then you may have to use your file and file them down and things like that but yeah so you just go through and figure out which one fits your nails the best and you go from there so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be back
Hey y'all, so I know my desk is a mess. But anyway, um, <clears throat> this is pretty much how it's looking. And as y'all can see, I pretty much set out my tips, make it easier on myself. Um, so I can just grab them for each finger and just go, okay? So after you do that part, or after I do that part, um, I just go ahead and I start to do my nail prep part where I just take my file and I go and, you know, I drill my nails and do all this other stuff and um yeah so i'm gonna do that part and i'll be back All right, so I'm done with that part. So I just take this little brush. Don't judge me. I'll come find my regular brush. But you want to brush the dust off. You do not want to use your um, fingers and stuff like that and deposit like oil back into your hands. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, just itch the inside of these because, um, you know, if you got a dust fan, then use it. But I want to itch the inside of these so that it can help with the adherence of the um, glue. So I just take my e-file again and I just pretty much just take it like that. Nothing too serious. Hey y'all, y'all can see my shirt hang. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you all. This is the duck light, and this is what it looked like when it's on. Like, it's actually my first time. What is it? Goose to, goose neck light? I don't know, y'all. You know, it's my first time actually using this thing. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my nails real quick, and then I'm going to start to apply these. First, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the high dehydrator. And if you don't have the dehydrator, I've seen people use, like, um, alcohol. So you just pretty much do it on your nail. Try not to get your skin. You just yeah, dehydrate the nail or whatever. And y'all, I don't know how long these will stay on me. I'm not the like I'm not the best prep because since getting my VSG, y'all, my nail beds, like my nails in general, have been super thin. That's why I try to keep them very, very low right now. And I couldn't, you know, it kept me from doing a little prepping that I would normally normally do. So hopefully these stay on for a while, but we'll see what happens, y'all. So yeah, you put the dehydrator on there, then you go ahead and you put the primer on. And then I almost forgot to tell y'all about that stuff. Alright y'all, so y'all see this? This is what came with the Beatles kit. This is what's going to go on the nails. It's called nail glue nail for nail tips. So you're going to go ahead and put that on your tips. Or you can use like a base gel. I don't think I have one up here. And I don't want to go in my stash and pull one out. So, yeah. I don't have one. So anyway, you can use this. It's, it'll be perfectly fine. Because really, when you get the kit, this will all be all you have anyway. So you just go ahead and... You just paint that on your real nail. Like, you just paint a thin little coat on your actual nail.
All right, y'all, so back to the scheduled program. So we have both hands done. Now it's time to do this part, and this is the hard part, y'all. Oh, my gosh, this is the hard part because I'm really, really bad. Um, like, sometimes I have flooding with this and stuff, and then I'm really, really bad with the, um, I'm going to tell y'all that, and I'm really bad with my non-dominant hand. So let's just practice. And if you have lights on, make sure you keep your curables away as much as possible. So anyway, I just go ahead and I kind of like, can y'all see that? Yeah, I kind of like rub it on and then I leave a little bit in there because I have short nails, y'all, so. But yeah. <clears throat> so then once you do that, and I'm gonna zoom y'all out simply because y'all be able to see the light. Anyway, once you do that, you wanna take it and Kind of place it on there. You don't want to have any air bubbles. And then I hope y'all can see. I don't know, but you want to take that. Make sure you have it straight, y'all. And that's my problem too, because my nails aren't naturally straight. So make sure you have them straight and place it under the lamp. And you just hold it under here long enough for it to cure, because you are going to actually put it back under the lamp. Anyway, once it's all on. So I'm just holding it on and yeah. So it's kinda straight, I guess. I don't know. Kinda straight. And really I needed a bigger tip for this now, but I don't have any. Well, I don't think it was any in that case, so. Yep, and that's pretty much the nail. So it's, I don't know y'all, it'd be hard to tell for me because my nails are already kinda, like I said, not that straight. But anyway, so. You just pretty much go ahead and do that again. Like I said, I brush it on. And then I put a little bit more. That's too much, but try to take some of that off. Anyway. And then you'll put that with the tip. I kind of start up above the cuticle part, if you can see that, and then I slide it back. Cause that helps me with like preventing as much flooding as possible and then you just push it down and yep, put it on here so then I like to check it and see if it's straight or not and I don't know it's probably not to be honest so eh, I can't take it off but whatever it's just gonna be a little crooked but anyway i'll be back all right so i am back and this is what the nails are looking like i just finished putting the tips on it didn't take long at all um some of my cricket <laughs> because my nails are crooked but whatever anyway these are looking really good right now so but i have to go ahead and cure those in my actual new lamp i mean in my big lamp for one minute per hand i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my gooseneck lamp because i'm done with it and yeah we'll move on to the next step all right y'all so i am back this is what they're looking like so next step for me will be to go ahead and cut them now i don't know how to use this this one actually comes with i mean i know how to use this one but this one actually came with like one of those little um here, it came with this. This is what this came with. I just don't know how to put this on there. That's one for you to get them all even, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make my nails short. So I just go into, I can feel it, and I just, yeah, cut them like that. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for all of them until I touch the little meat part, because I have, like, I do my kids' hair and whatever I do for my kids, and I don't wanna make it uncomfortable for me, or them so yeah that's pretty much the length that I'm going for and yeah I'll be back when I finish the other hand all right so I have both nails and both hands done or whatever so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take my e-file again and I'm just gonna go around the you know clean up the outside part in case there was any flow overflow
All right, y'all, so I went ahead and did that, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this buffer block and buff the tops and things. All right, so I have my nails fired down. Some of them still not straight, but it is what it is. So they'll, they'll be okay. Anyway, they're fired down, so I'm going to go ahead and put my base coat on. And, yeah. Oh, so this is the base coat I'm going to use. This is the model ones. I cannot find my um, Beatles one, so I'm just brushing my little nails. I mean, yeah, brushing the extra dust and stuff off. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this base coat paint it on my nails like I did like just simply paint it on my nails and I'm going to cure this for one minute per hand and I'll be back all right y'all so this is the design that I came up with I kind of had inspiration from um something that I saw on google but anyway I Wanted to keep these two nails plain, the two end nails, because I was thinking about doing something to them, and then I was like, yeah, they'll be okay. But this is definitely not perfect. This is what it looks like when I do my nails with my nine dominant hand. So now I'm going to show you how to do it on this hand, okay? All right, so for starters, I went ahead and this base color, that base color right there is this right here, uh, Am Amelie or whatever, and it's not... Uh, number zero thirty-six, and I'm gonna zoom y'all in a little bit. Yeah, so I just went ahead and got that, and I just pretty much put one thick coat. I took my nail and just brushed it on there, cause I wanted it to be nude, really. But the nude that I have is like almost brown, and I want it to be a soft nude. So I was like, yeah, this will have to work then. So this actually came in a set of like three different colors I think so I went ahead brushed it on and then I just went ahead and add a little more and dabbed it on just so it can darken it up a very very little bit all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds all right y'all so this is what they're looking like and I have colors white black and gold and I have a few little dotting tools so I'm gonna do these ones probably all black Kind of black on the outside with white on the inside I just tap my you just like tap your dotting tool in like that and you go on your nail and I'm going to do one two three four okay so I'm just gonna go back in and one two three four just to thicken that up and then you want to hurry up to if you have runny gel like I do I guess all of it is probably running out now. So that's what it's looking like. I go ahead and put it under the lamp for about 10 seconds just so I can get it to stick. And so I can keep it from moving so much. I mean, so then after that, you want to go ahead and I'm dipping them mine into my white. And then you just do a dot. See? And then a dot. And actually, no, let me leave that one in 10 seconds as well. Cause I need to come back with the gold. So I used a smaller one. Can I see a smaller one for gold? And oh, I'm making a mess. But you just dip it in like you do all the other ones. And I just went through and I did dots. Like diagonally from one side to another. And I just added some gold just to add in a little color.
and that's what it's looking like and then i go and put that in for 30 seconds the whole hand oh right, yeah now last step is the top coat and i know this is not the beatles brand i just don't want to dig in for my beatles one but i actually have beatles ones as well but anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and you just pretty much brush this on top to finish to coat everything and it's a no wipe one which means you know the ones that that requires you to wipe they get that tacky layer at the top and those are good like if you're using like glitters and all that stuff you can just put it on and put your glitter on and do whatever you need to do So I went and washed my hands. I cured these, um, I cured my nails for 60 seconds. And then I went ahead and washed my hands. And now it's time for the last step, which is the cuticle oil. So you put the cuticle oil obviously on your cuticles. And yep, cause your nails, your hands will be super dry. Yeah, put it on your cuticles. And then go ahead and just rub that in. And just like that, they are looking good. Let me zoom y'all out. They are looking freaking gorgeous, like oh my goodness these are so cute and to be honest that means I can now put on one of my rings because <laughs> I don't like wearing my rings when my nails aren't done it just doesn't look right <laughs> so anyway these are what they're given this is the final freaking look like look at that they're not perfect but man these are freaking gorgeous if you ask me but anyway, y'all, comment down below. Let me know if y'all like nails like this. I mean, nails like this. Let me know if y'all like videos like this. And just let me know how y'all feel about these nails. How do y'all like y'all nails? Do y'all like short nails, long nails? Do y'all like designs or plain? Whatever. But anyway, y'all, this is pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and clean up. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. And yeah.